when we like never use bags to wrap, but we have sister, them. Settle. What did I click? Ah! I, I have messed up! <laughs> I just clicked on the game and apparently it was asking languages and I clicked something random and panic. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Does anyone speak this language? Which, which one? Which one do I do? Which one's options? Somebody help. Is that Romanian? I don't know! <laughs> that was certainly a combination of words I didn't expect to heal here. I changed this game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I gotta change the uh, title and stuff. Uh, I'm playing Little Misfortune. Oh, have all the fun buckles. Okay. The devs are Romanian. I think I just randomly picked one, Kath. I was lurking, but I'm laughing. I'm glad you're laughing, Fonzie. Um, so we think this might be options? None of this is language. That's quit. <laughs> oh no. The last one's exit. Thank you, Lycan. I looked at it too late. Kita did amazing. I love it. Kita is the best. Is this languages? N no. Is this languages? No. no. Is this languages? Oh! 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 <laughs> this is pain. Uh, I did it. That is quit. We have learned. I know. Spe <laughs> Speaking of mistakes were made. Oh, we did it. Uh, <laughs> cap. And fixed. All right. What did I just miss, though? Cut scenes. Brothers and sisters, settle. Settle. I come to you this day with great news. I know My this story, voice. disciples, our search is nearly complete. Maybe for I don't. For decades we've toiled and scoured and fished about this wretched continent for that ever-elusive tome, the Grimoire Eternus, the book to end all books, the storied and long fable, the Necronomicon. Yes, Sister Halo, that's that's the one. Next time, maybe you let the actual cult leader speak its eternally horrible name. Yeah, thank you. The, uh, <clears throat> the Necronomicon! Yes! No doubt some among you have questioned oh its very existence. Our search has been wide and our labor great, with as yet no return. Well, brothers and sisters, it may be that we have come upon its actual location. Uh, Brother Bright. Gregory. Gregory! We talked about this, man. This night, brothers and sisters. Cute. Our men. Thank you. I will in a sec. Women. And women are on their way to retrieve that tome as we speak. Is this not what we've been looking for since our establishment is a legitimate death call? Yes. Is it not in our official membership charter? Yes. Is it not we who should be the first and only to lay our hands upon it? Yes. Shall we let the abominable butcher or other He's lesser cults get their stinking paws on our glorious bounty now that it is so closely within our reach? Yes! No! No! And with the Necronomicon finally in our hands, nothing will stop the Haunter from regaining his true form. No end to the work! No end to the work! The guy is still on his phone, I noticed. We have found him, brothers and sisters. The man who will lead us to it. We have found him, and we watch. We watch. The Haunter, like in Pokemon? I was thinking the same thing. All right, so that was the cutscene we missed. Because <laughs> I panicked. Uh, so yeah, I'm assuming it's this man. Talking cat and a detective. Um, so I'm going to change the title real quick here. Uh, talking cats, cats and Cthulhu. 
All right. And there is no trigger to my knowledge. It's a family friendly game. Gibbous. And thank you to the devs for this game. Thank you, thank you for the key. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you, Kath, for uh, selecting it as your Patreon pick because it looks adorable and I'm excited. And I might, if I need help during adventure puzzles, I will let you guys know because I'm not the best at point and clicks. Uh, <laughs> well, if it has the point and click normal logic, I'm not the best at them. So it depends on how classic they decide to go with the puzzles and the solutions, I may need help, but I will ask chat, I will say, hey chat, what do I do? Or I'm letting it up to chat or whatever. Um, I will address you guys if I need the help. So we're gonna do a new game. That was Kita, it was, it was, it was. And this new game is interesting. Yeah. Read all about it, sir. Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century. A storm, hmm. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> Get out of here. Change. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient book. Supposed to have inside of it the kind of stuff makes a Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weirdo cults popping up all over Darkham. You know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret like. Cash is cash though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. Put some weight on my man and rearing forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jack flip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. Dark and ancient? Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? Damn. Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Does he have a hole in his Sometimes tongue? worse. Milk stream. Ah, prologue. Kitty. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Oh, okay. Is saved? Hold spacebar to reveal hotspots. Oh, I love that. Oh, I gotta walk to it. Darkham. Horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable. And I was probably too much to handle. Then she left me with an empty bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. Oh my, God. <sighs> my gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time. Glean extra information that might be useful. Or not. The brooding, festering horror of the ancient town. Weird. That just popped into my head from nowhere. A sea of rotting roof tiles, decaying masonry, and who knows what dormant evils. This guy thinks too much. I love it. Darkham. Horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here. Oh, okay. And then she... Uh. So, now the eyeball's not wide open, which I guess means I've exhausted all the possible dialogue options? No. I gotta investigate the library first. Okay. More Darkham. Not nearly as badly lit as the name would suggest, but more than compensating on the creepy scale. Not your prettiest tourist-friendly town. Okay. Even more Darkham. Surprisingly colorful here and there, but I didn't let that fool me. The town had been bubbling with occult activity for a while, and I was about to look deep into it. Deep. <clears throat> like a sea of ugly, decrepit, tile-covered whales. Whales? Okay. There's tiny graffiti on it. Stay in school. I guess it's an advice column.
You didn't tell me Wolf Prince wrote this. <laughs> God damn it. The pillars of knowledge. Or just, you know, supporting masonry. I'm out. I'm done. I'm leaving the fuck that pun. I'm leaving fuck that pun. <laughs> uh. You know, they uh, really have a vegetation problem out here. We wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, Tully, are you looking for food? Because he was trying to eat it. Clipping that. <laughs> Did anyone clip me holding bear, by the way? Or style is neat. Love the colors. Reminds me of the best thing about Batman forever. I can see that. I think I have to have it turned off until Fiber Network. That's fair. <laughs> Advice column is left one. Uh, that one is the joke column. Oh my god. All right. It's like these crazy vines are strangling the edifice in a real symbolic way, you know? All right. Oh, okay, there we go. Crescent moon, shining down on the horrid husk of a town that is Darkham. Oh, <gasps> Tally. Tally? Hi, baby. Oh, okay. You get to see her tail. I guess we can use all the light we can get in this dump. Okay. Looks like some kind of gargoyle. Swallowed almost whole by those dead vines. Old Prince's advice column. I'd love to blame it on modern art, but this is really ancient stuff. It's just creepy as hell. Okay. There we go. Strange bas relief. They really went out of their way to make F5. this place as creepy as possible. Okay. Hi. What, baby? Oh, what a stretch. Oh, oh. Ma'am? Ma'am? Can you make a choice? Ma'am. <laughs> Get down. There we go. Bless first with Baron and now Tali. Tail. I missed. Uh. Oh, Baron being held. Darn it. That's okay. Uh. I'll go back to get several clips. Anyone else may do the same. Uh, that'll give me less work. Aww. I might wait. I might go out immediately after uh, we end stream. Um, so I might not do the thank tweet till we get back anyway. So. Hey, tail for the win. I'll bet the common Joe doesn't even know what a bass relief is. It's a ball relief. Not bass. I wonder exactly what that bass needs relief from. The oppressive, stagnant atmosphere of Darkham. A trudging, boring life stuck in a library interior. An uncertain future in the face of an uncaring populace. The ridiculousness of this fish pun? I don't know. No one can be sturgeon. Ah, who gives a carp? <laughs> These are all jokes Wolf Prince made. Oh my god. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. The more I look at them, the less interesting they get. <laughs> These puns, it's time to stop. The joy of reading. Those look like the exception. That's where folks get strange, forever. ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. Mm -hmm. Wear protection. Goes for libraries, too. 
Nobody there. Looks like it's just me and this librarian fella. It's a dusty old book. Its title's really hard to read. Okay, I need reminded who picked this, and I need them to confess how much they knew about the puns. Kath. Kath. I like this so far. It's a real page turner. I hate this timeline. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, a wolf prince adventure. Kath picked it, yeah. Oh my god. Blame Kath. Oh. A very convenient <laughs> treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Useless garbage. Oh my god. It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. Daniel Maroon's Anathemic Adventures. Daniel Maroon's blood boiling baptism. I'm concerned. Daniel Maroon's clerical conundrums. Daniel Maroon's deacon's debauchery. Sounds debauchery. spicy. Also, these are all um, alliterations. <clears throat> Daniel Maroon's <clears throat> eucharistical enigmas. Oh my god, please tell me you go through the whole Daniel alphabet. Daniel Maroon's fathers and fedoras. My personal <clears throat> favorite. <clears throat> Daniel Maroon's mm. Gibbous Gospel. Gibbous. Daniel Maroon's Him Hunting. I hear it's a snoozer. Oh my god, please don't. Daniel me do Maroon's it... Improbable Iconostasis. Did they do the whole ass alphabet? Daniel Maroon's mm. Jump in Jerusalem's. It was his first foray into comedy. Still sold a heap, though. Daniel Maroon's Cryptic Cloisters. Ah, he was reaching. Daniel Maroon's Lengthy Lydney, 4,200 pages. Ouch. <coughs> Daniel Maroon's Menacing Monastery Mystery. Daniel Maroon's Nuns and Nooses. Oh, boy. <coughs> Daniel Maroon's Presbyterian Perils. Daniel Maroon's Queer Clephotic Quests. Sounds particularly exciting. I'm excited. Daniel Maroon's Reliquary Rapture. Daniel Maroon's The Sacramento Sacrament. <laughs> Daniel Maroon's <clears throat> Theological Tenabra. Daniel Maroon's Unholy Unctions. Daniel Maroon's Vinci's Vengeful Vigils. That makes no sense. Daniel Maroon's Warring Worshippers. No entry for X or Y. Can't blame him. <laughs> And finally, oh, Daniel wait. Maroon's The Zesty Zealot. I forgot how many things. <laughs> mild, or no, what is it? Yeah, mild OC detective. OCD. Love that. The writers are cowards. Oh my god. Life goal, write books with alphabetical alternative titles. Coca-Cola, please. This poor voice actor. I love it. Hi, Goose. Hello. Uh... I knew it was funny, but not to the extent of the puns. Kath, is this getting cat quest level of puns? Yes. Mm. So far. Oh, two others did put a game in the game suggestions channel on Discord. I may have known of some punnage. Oh, you did this game too? Or you guys put that in the suggested? I didn't think it would be this many. And it's only been 10 minutes. I feel robbed. For no X and Y. At least it's a Z, yeah. My English major in me is loving that title, but also, like, here we go. Fair. Could have been Xanth Xanthus X-rays or Xylophone or Yawning Yankees or something. Xylophone Xmas right there. True. All right. That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. A little on the plain and ugly side, too. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. That thing is Deacon very unnerving. Deacon Maroon's extreme x-rays. Extreme x-rays! <laughs> it could have just been without the E. I feel like 
poking it in its plaster eyes. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. Who would grab and stick to this kind of job in this kind of place? They must have fish hooked them. Free internet will do that to a Joe. This librarian looks a few centuries short of the age requirement. Evening. Good evening, sir. Oh, so how's things in the library business? So, how's things in the library business? Uh, you know, can't complain. <clears throat> it's a living. Those uh, electronic <laughs> books hit me uh, folks hard these days? <clears throat> nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so it's all the same to us. Hmm. I guess you could say that statue is a real eyesore. Oh my god. Yodeling youths! Cthulhu Fatagan, hell yeah. Interesting library you've got here, is it old? Interesting library you got oh, here. Oh, I guess he's saying it. Old? So. Yeah, pretty old. It's old, pretty huh? Old. How old? Like really, really old. You might even say it's it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? It was established by one Jeremiah Orne in, uh, let's see, uh, 18... I love uh, that you've been on really, stream so really I can hear a mental wolf ago. in my head. Huh. Thanks yes. for the info. Sure. Uh. The name's Katype. Don Archetype. Here to see about a book. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the uh, Necronomicon. <laughs> Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure. Uh, you've got your, uh... I feel like oh, this was a trick. Wait, you're talking like about the Like, I went trick-or-treating, and I only came back one, with aren't a trick. You? Yeah, no, I sorry, was deceived. that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. Archetype. I'm not over it. Librarian's re look reminds me of Dan in the adult animated series Dan vs. Uh, love the library if I could. I would go in... I would be in absolute heaven. Fair. Reading is good. Go get a book. See, I'm dyslexic, so reading is not... Books are not necessarily my thing. I love being read to or, like, river reading to me and stuff. Um, But I'm... It's hard for me to get into a novel by myself reading. Um, So that's why video games have really helped me with reading. And then also, um, like, SCPs are fun because they're short <clears throat> and easier to comprehend sometimes. Audiobooks are books too. That's true. Um, I I like not necessarily audiobooks though, but specifically reading with someone, like having River read to me, because then if something happens and I didn't process or understand what happened, instead of having to rewind, I can just ask River, wait real quick, what happened? I didn't really process it. Um, so because I have a processing issue, I have a comprehension issue. I was going to say that. Audiobooks are valid as well. Yeah. I did 140 hours of audiobooks last month. Nice. Don't have the attention span to read books. Yeah, that too. Bless you. Thank you for the hugs. Isn't the phrase written as Klaatu? I know nothing. You, uh... Wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? That's awesome, I'm just Kat. a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You right. haven't been the first mm -hmm. to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Mm -hmm. Definitely our most popular in existence book. Guys. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? They come in all shapes and sizes, 
can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind, personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orn about the Rare Books Department, though. Do you have uh, at the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals yeah. upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. Tell us the zoomies. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? He sounds Look, like he's like I can tell you come from a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. Oh, really? And that uh, different era business ain't? Touche, Mr. Katai. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it pays the bills. Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? Are you? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. There it is again. Ugh. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an like interesting that surname kept moving. and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased really because personal. of that. No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. Chakra is over part of the dialogue choices? Oh, the dialogue choices. Uh, okay. Tali was getting hyper, and then she ran off because she heard River going to the bathroom. Uh, I will hide Kitty for now, then. All right. Uh... I didn't know actually till yesterday the phrase came from the day the earth stood still. I've never heard of it. Uh, oops. I have more to it's, say. It's, uh, Buzz, the librarian. Nice kid, I guess. Yeah, I've done the rest. So I guess... I guess leave? Yeah. Oh. Sources hint at the Necronomicon hiding in plain sight inside the Mescatonic Library. How plain that site is remains to be seen. Gotta look into it ASAP. Thing on doorstep. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. It ain't for my nose, but I could, uh, pass it on to the librarian. I got a box. My mouse disappeared for a sec. Thing on the doorstep. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? These are all very Too long have you animations. meddled in our business type. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? Type. Things it's escalated gone. quickly. Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set up a bomb in here. I, I was about to call the police. Nonsense. Do you call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I, uh, okay, sir. Clean up a little. It's Mr. Katype's shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. It's Don's shoe. 
That's all he's left behind. Strange medallion. Where's my mouse? Oh, I interrupted that, I guess. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? It's sure to fall off and kill someone whenever the next earthquake hits. Talk about kicking things off with a bang. What an explosive twist. God damn it. That escalated quickly. It went from zero to a hundred real fast. That monstrous cracked medallion is literally an accident waiting to happen. I think what I want... Is to throw I the just shoe at realized it. how long I've actually wanted to do this. Dawn sends his regards, ugly. There's the book. Is is this what Dawn was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. That bomb Reap was a real factor page just went up two hundred percent. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're coming with me, weird book. Uh, well, I got I never Grimoire thought I'd grabber. actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, Buzz, think. Dawn's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. I will avenge the books. <laughs> Cthulhu Fatagan, what a wonderful s phrase. What a wonderful okay, phrase. Okay, safely home. What, what the Fatagen. hell was all that about? Is this Ain't really no happening? Phrase. Am I really talking out it loud to no myself? Worries. What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I, made a better I open joke this thing and that. see what's written in it? What do you say? <sighs> oh, no I'm help. sorry. That bomb was a real page burner. Okay, might as well All take right. a peek. You did make yeah, a better joke than that. Yeah, Kashaptuzi Dinger Kampa. Why would you read this? Why? Adonai Why would you do this? Methatron. Why would you read random what phrases the? that you don't know what they say? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, I wish you could Kitty? talk back for once. All right. Yeah, didn't you watch Doctor Strange? Don't read strange books. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something cat. feels very different now. As much as I agree tonight. with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? <clears throat> I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That, that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I That's had, voice actor, yeah. This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's there's different text on it now. What the? Should I read it out loud? No. Wait, sorry. I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Uh, 
I was not paying attention to what he said before. I'm gonna guess this last one. Ba lagu bel dirigu ba ga ka kampa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <laughs> Darn it! Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Nothing uh, bad. By the way, nothing Kitty, bad could happen. Nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumb snake possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or, or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. What? All right. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. E uh, Oops. just a figure of speech. I didn't think she was gonna talk back. She's just as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. Okay. That's Kitty, my, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know, not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touche, pussycat. Oh my god. I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. Cats have no need for names, we know who we are. That burn. Oops. No, he's just gonna say the same That's thing. That's totally un- Really? Yeah. Two. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Okay. I can't tell if hers are used up then. Okay. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. What's left of my once impressive action figure collection? I guess I'm growing or something. This seems to be canonically establishing that the character literally talks out loud and can be heard by people around him. Yeah. The writing for a kitty is definitely what a cat would sound like if a cat could talk. It's true. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. Rude. What did he just do? Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. That's Ron Dilbert. He's really grumpy. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Is this 20 bucks? My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dead as... well, dead. And it's been charging? I don't think I'll bother her about it. It's our oven. It's I'm 1999. deathly afraid of it. Long story. What did you do? Look, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I have this long-running fear of leaving the gas on and then the dorm explodes, and I'm not even slowly walking away from it. I just stand there in tears. No. Hey, Kitty, think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're going to have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. Yep, I did it! Hey, and there's Lemon's key. 
Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. I would not eat that cookie. Cute. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. I don't Ugh, plan on eating I it. I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. This is how I die. Huh. Ew, cat collaborator. That's our tiny fridge. You're not even gonna try the X cat? What? It's usually either full of lemons dubious cooking oh, or no, completely empty. I feel like he also has a salad burning story. Yeah, for sure. Because it's still an adventure game. Yeah. Nah, I can open it myself. There we go. Uh, it's our one and only treasured lighter. Well, lemons lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the stove or oven. Get it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. Gonna grab this for a while. All right. That's been there since Lemon left for Who's that lemon? esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Whatever was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. Not on your life, buddy. Fair. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. He's such a hippie, it hurts me mostly. I had a friend that nickname was Lemon. I can squeeze under doors. Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsqueezable under, remember? Oh yeah, he did do that. All right, um, inventory. So we have a key. Lemons locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Cats can shapeshift like Odo. Cats can fit under doors sometimes. Depends how much space there is. All right. I have a feeling somewhere everything. inside yep. this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. My eyes, they water. All right, Kitty, I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli sink is giving me dizzy spells. Oh, here it is. Patchouli. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Cats are liquid cats. Surprised you didn't know that. Uh, I wonder if he's Buzz's boyfriend or something. Or, like, roommate. I can zoom. Kitty does follow the cursor. That's kind of creepy. Oops. Nope. It's one of those lick oh, 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 uh, ukulele. Tiny cute guitars. It's cute. Kitty TOS. It's one of those. Oops. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. Oh, that's gaudy. Exhaustive hey, examiner. Looks like there's something under this. Move it yourself, Buzz. Fair. What do you know? A pair of scissors. Sweet. All right. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. Page on the right says invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. I Only you that. will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. 
Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. No need, I, I can read it myself. It's a book, Lemon left a comp- Okay. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, it reminds me of Gabriel Knight with all the clickables, yeah. I think Oops. it's- Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Snob. Oh. Do it again. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. Snob. Cubism. We thankfully have no need for it. Alright, is that it? Oh no, incense stick. That's mild. Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. But Julie, what else? Do I look like a lighter to you? I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. All right. So you use lighter on it. And then you use book on it. Yay. Because I'm guessing he wrote an invisible Let's ink. Let's moderately heat this baby. You don't look heavy, yes, kitty. Yes, it worked. Uh, lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty. Now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. Woo! I think I got it. Can How's you share? How's okay. <laughs> for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet. Information? Lead. Yes. Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it Thanks, is. Thanks, Kath. I'm sorry, thank, but thank I you. could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Dark Compete, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. I did it. Chapter one, Darkum. Prologue, get. Is she trying to get her own tail? All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Mm. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> I'm not scared or anything. I just don't. You you talk to her, okay? Okay. Hey, little girl. What are you That's doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. Made a new friend, five charisma, negative 10 intimidation. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Alright, alright, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? 
Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Is she dead? Grandma says we'll go to Fishma soon. We're Fishma? just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. Is she... Fishmith sounds like Innsmith. Is your grandmother part fish? So you're just uh, standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. <laughs> I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little lives away. I'm gonna get killed oh, from this little girl. Hey. Okay. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is. I'll give you that. There's so many fourth wall breaks. I won't confirm or deny that question. Everyone is... everyone is sassy. Too spooky. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. But not until we get my fishy! Alright. That's their fish? Who has a fish doll? Why? I think it's that little girl's fish doll. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? No. You mean that pale abomination? <laughs> oh, we have nothing to do with her or her face. How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. Cute. Hideous fish dressed up as a human. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. I'd hate to have him do my taxes. If Oops. I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. Okay. Fishmouth's own. There, now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. That was as much interest as I could muster up about this shop sign. I can climb higher than that. Easy. Okay. Ugh, never could stand fish. Me neither, bro. How people can eat that is beyond me. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, too. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. It somehow looks old. It doesn't look like it'll snap me back to cathood, Buzz. Your shift on your bike broke? Oh, no. Ellie, I'm sorry. That sucks. All the hugs. All of them. Priscilla's face is vaguely recalls little misfortune. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Uh, awkward. Looming tower. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. I wonder if they can pump water up that high. There's stock of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. What is he doing? I think that's just an idle animation. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? People no. come, people go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away. Okay. Nah, I need her around. It used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that... Is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Kid A has no use for that walled archway. Okay. Uh, street sign. Oh wait, shop door. It's the door to the fishery. 
It's... Oops. We have bigger fish to fry, but... I okay. see what you did there. Right. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Tiny Prince says his body was found headless on the street, so Trigger they named seeking. it after him. Charming story. Yeah, well, he can left. now quit while he's ahead. At least it brought things to a head. Christopher Valiant is an okay guy. There, happy. Man, that's one attractive dude. I mashed mine with ketchup, both boiled and fried version. The fish. Ugh. I can't. <laughs> Shifter says it's the fourth, but it's the seventh. Oh, oh setting. Gotcha. Uh, I'll treat you to pizza. I know nothing. I don't know anyone in chat that is. This picture of a male model. I feel like I need. I need to have it. Get it yourself. You can reach it. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Yes, he is. All right. Just seeing if there's anything else I may have missed over here. I can't go that way. Night vendor. Thank you for hanging out with us. Oh, that's this. Darkham is particularly horrid this time of year. Maybe mom should have stayed in Romania. Apparently I live right next to my job. No time for sightseeing. Well, Mr. at least it's not Fishmouth. Do I really like it here? You never really stop and think about it. I really need to get out of this place. Permanently. No time for sightseeing. Okay. Well, if it isn't stinky, crumbling, wretched, repulsive old Darkham. Such nice things. You can examine most hotspots multiple times, as characters will often have many different things to say each time. You'll know you've exhausted all talking points concerning a particular hotspot when the examine eye changes to become nearly closed. I mean, that's... Yeah, I picked up on that. <laughs> the place I call home. I guess human beings will adapt to anything. I just don't no know about Kitty. Sightseeing. Because Kitty doesn't have a change. Do you not? Okay, there we go. Moon. Oh, Moon. Mistress of the night. Kerwin! I'd love to look at it again, but Kitty's gonna throw a literal hissy fit. Ow. Hair stuck in glasses. There we go. Let's keep moving. No. Mr. Orn really likes his library covered in spiky vegetation. I guess it does hide some of the more unfortunate architectural choices. Mr. Oh. No point in making her climb them. That's Steve, the gargoyle. I like both boiled, fried, and sautéed fish when it's done right. I just I can't. It's very rare we for me to like fish. We go way back. He's down with the vegetation, son. He's into the herbs, bro. He's all about them weeds. Inappropriate. Family-friendly game. They wouldn't like each other. Stay in school. I thought I was making such a statement. Or was I trying to be ironic and It was hip? him? Can't remember. Why am I staring at this thing? I've got important things to attend to. There's something very wrong with me. I seem to be fascinated by this column. I'm trapped, frozen in place by the sudden realization of how beautiful this expression of aesthetic triumph and architectural... Get a move on, Kerwin! Right away. Yeah, it's gosh darn beautiful. Let's move on. All right. Everything's on fire. Of course, the hideous thing survives the deflagration. 
I don't know why I'm looking at it again. I hate that thing. I swear I was joking about that thing being a joke column. She cares nothing for art. You call that art? You have a point. A very intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental notes, sometimes examining items several times really pays off. Do it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. All right. And then there was popular book section. Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged, diehard little. They're the last thing I need at the moment. Kay. She's not into books. Says you. Fair. All right. That's it. Wait. Book rack. Some of the Hi, most Tisite. fascinating well, books I've ever read. read. I personally and lovingly arranged them all in one book rack. All gone. Such a loss. Mm. Some. Oops. She's not into books. Says. Okay. Now we can leave. I like fish too. Not my favorite thing, but I like it. Favorite is pasta. Fair. I just, it's the smell. I can't. It, like, legitimately makes me nauseous. Thank you, tutorial in her monologue. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. What's my inventory right now? Can I throw a cookie at it? No. It's not tempted by my cookie. Uh, Wouldn't help. They won't help. Do you want a book? She wouldn't care about it. All right. Go left then. Because that's the only place we haven't been. Hello, hello. Void Smoker? Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Uh, let's check out the tiny print. Uh, apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portraits stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. Huh? Could have been worse. Not sure how exactly, but it could have. Unlike pineapple pizza memes, I don't demand everyone to have the same tastes I do. Fair. Here's the smoke in the void. Didn't you say it was both smell and texture? It depends on, yeah, it depends on the seafood for texture. Like, I couldn't do clams. I couldn't do mussels. I can't do, uh, the lobster I have tried, couldn't do it. Same with calamari. Uh, I like crab. That's about it. I like tuna, like canned tuna, if it's mixed with mayonnaise. Can't have it by itself. Ma'am. No. Tali. 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 Okay. She's trying to, like, bat at the lights. Uh. But yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thanks for being a good dude, Void Smoker. I mean, I might have said texture in the past relating to a specific experience or a specific fish, too. So, that wouldn't surprise me if I did. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. That's Jeremiah Orn, Old Man Orn's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. That oh, okay, that was it. Um blonde lady it's a nice looking blonde lady yep definitely a nice looking blonde lady she's staring at me okay, no it's your chance to talk to a girl hey there hello approaching lonely women on benches at night are we not interested i'm sorry miss but i feel this strange urge to bother everyone i meet and ask a lot of questions 
have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I, uh, I have a B-shaped birthmark. Nice evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? Uh, I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, share, share. Gotta Hi. run. So run. Damn. All right. Um, black. It's really weathered, but I think it says park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. Oh. Kitty can't read. I'm learning real fast. Okay. Well, it's uh the moon. That's pretty much it. Nah. They say the guy in charge is a real joker. Cute. I hear they've been having a bat problem. The woman over wanted there. nothing to do with Buzz. <laughs> B do what now? Nah. Alright. Oh I know. Vegetation. That's some ominous looking flora right there. That Oops. No thanks. I just went recently. Baron! What do you mean, Sam D who? Just Wikipedia, you slacker. They haven't been formally introduced. Okay. People really love blustering guys everywhere. Did you know that the mere graphical suggestion of an eye can unconsciously make you more apprehensive? It's not real, Buzz. Get a grip, buddy. Okay, sounds like my inner voice, yo. The woman. Oh, yeah, I read that. I love that reference. Wait, which one? This small window oh, somehow with the communicates with the interior. How cool is that? A warm reddish orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Even she can't squeeze in through there. Bad and I for the Batman jokes. Uh, hello there. Password. Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. What game is that referencing? Uh, hello there? Password? Swordfish. Too classic. I don't know what that classic is referring uh, to. Hello there? Pa Password. Nice try, buddy. Alright. Oh, Leisure look at the cute Larry? voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? On the other hand, who dared touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. I don't go for dolls. I'm more of a laser pointer girl myself. Fair. No idea who this Big guy D. is, but his beard looks real tentacly. Big Deest! Is that a nose or a beak? Man, Darkham City Council is all weird when it comes to statue choices. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. Big D Street. No idea who this guy's either. Big D! Alright, let's look at the tiny print. Absent-minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, uh they'll just name streets after anyone these days. Cute. At least he was into video D. games. I'm sure this street sounds way naughtier than intended. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kitty doing? Thanks for supporting video games, Big D. Oh, okay. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. There is a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. She's not leaving without me. Plus, we're both broke. Okay. Evening. It sure is. Uh... You know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid. It's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. 
How'd you manage to get the a big D so small? There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, right here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? But all of these are lies. Yep, B. Kerwin, P.I. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. Good on you, taxi man. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Okay. Got a scoop. Yep, that's fair. That was all valid. Okay. Do you know the password? Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. What? He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, uh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Just murder. I made a friend! 5 plus charisma, negative 10 intimidation. Buddy, buddy, nice buzz. Nice to meet you, Margot. Can I ask what your husband uh, did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? She's ready to murder. I happen to be anything for hire. I'm an undercover cop, put him up. I'm a librarian. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. I happen to be an anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so, uh. I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. Oh, you'd know if I did that. That sounded... vaguely inappropriate. I'm an undercover cop. Put him up. Psh. Yeah, right. Let me see your badge, officer. I left it in my investigating pants. We got different pairs for different pants. assignments. You know. Return in those pants and you're free to arrest me. Uh, cleaner said they'll only be done Why by is Tuesday. the taxi driver they sound so familiar? They all sound familiar too. to me. I walked right into that one. That didn't land, Buzz. Uh. Oh my god. Badge! Pants? Pants are for squares. Yeah. I'm a... Never mind. Alright. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. Gotta run. So run. Let's try again. Uh, hello there? Password? Ugh. Wrong. Okay. Can you tell me? Gotta run. Okay, she won't tell me. Um, what do I have? Here, do you want She's this? She's not interested. Damn it. Do you want a cursed cookie? Dude, no. Do you want a male model? Nah, she doesn't need to see good-looking dude. Necronomicon? Wouldn't make me look more endearing, would it? Uh, I have no idea. 
Anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's clearly it. That's, cl that's the password right there. Even the counsel marriage counselor was like, yeah, your husband needs to die. Basically. Okay, talk to Priscilla again, I guess. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fish Midla. Right. Okay. Hey, kitty, how much? Well, you gotta ask your- Don't- Come on. Don't- You mean that- You're hard- Don't you- What the fuck do I do? Alright. I'll go back in here, but I think that's my apartment. It's getting late. Take care, Anna. Have a lovely evening. Get all the rest. Thank you for hanging out with us, and I appreciate the hell out of you. Get all the sleeps. Um, also, chat. What do you think I do next? Because I know you said there's a hint system, Kath, but I don't see one. It's my inventory. That wasn't on before, was it? I guess it was. Um. No use. It's dead. Okay. You should sit down and watch my little pony with his cat. Fair. Completely useless right now. So I'll ask chat, what do you think I should do? What what does it seem like I've missed, if anything? Because I've clicked everything that I could think of. Have you looked at the things in your inventory? Uh I guess it's I a picture of a them. male model I picked up from the street. The the picture, that is. I don't think I know what I'm looking for. Nice pair of scissors. These things always come in handy. Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. That's it. I'm gonna give this cookie to this girl. No way. Okay. Do you wanna see a nice male model? I don't think she cares about this dude. All right, I have no fucking clue. Point and clicks. All right, give her the scissors. I can try. Apparently can function as a hint system. Kitty, I've asked Kitty about everything. And none of it. Oh, I guess talking to her. Oh, okay. Kitty, why won't you help me get Basilla's doll from up there? Do you really have to be unnecessarily mean? Look, Buzz, I'm a very goal-oriented cat. We need to find that VG person. That little girl's problem can wait. Uh, I somehow feel you're wrong about this. Whatever. Okay. Kitty, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought lady friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I have no interest in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just... Ugh. I tune them out. <sighs> Good to know. What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Uh. Giddy, how do we get past this door? I don't know. Examining our surroundings? Talking to everyone? Cunning and ingenuity? Sheer luck and using everything on everything? Thanks for pointing out all the options. All right. I'm assuming you mean this door. It's closed and locked. Oh, those cool circular cuts. These would have to be diamond and I'd have to like fish. GG. Kitty is of no help. Dark comes just beautiful at night, isn't it? No. Uh, in a creepy kind of way? No. <sighs> it really isn't. 
Still mad about being humanized? Very Bora didn't so. help me in any way. Okay, just checking. I have used everything. Thanks. Now help, chat. Because what? Okay. Since you asked, I think talking again to the taxi driver now that you know the lady's name. Okay. Let's see. So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What she to you? I'm her priest. I'm her legal advisor. I'm her legal advisor. I'm her legal advisor. I just keep close and make sure she doesn't do anything That's crazy. That's not what I meant. In that case, I don't know nothing. Ain't seen nothing. Damn it. Goodbye. I thought that'd be like helping her because of the divorce. I don't know. I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. That's equally oh, creepy. friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. I think sure, it's, Margo, isn't it? it's my friend Margo. Huh, guess you weren't lying. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, stalker. but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She, she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. Okay. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction, and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. All right. Good man. Say, you won't open it, will you? I already tried to give the model to her. Do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like. Thank God. Here you go. I have a letter. I know I'm probably supposed to open it. I... I wasn't going to. I was going to try and give it to her first, but here we are. Beloved Margo, here it is. An old-fashioned letter since you said email can be easily intercepted. I've even tried writing it by hand, but, well, you don't want to see the result. Missing you. Ah, your sweet perfume, your golden hair shining in the morning light, your glittering expensive jewelry. Oh, Margo, Margo. Are you sure about Tony's intentions? My God, he's your husband. Would he really go so far as hurting you? Or me, for that matter? I know I was against this initially, but now I'm convinced. You need to get the voodoo gentleman, uh, or need to see him, and try to get him to do what's needed. I've started this poem about you, but it's so hard to find the words that rhyme with your lovely name other than cargo or embargo. I'll persist. So looking forward to seeing you, it hurts. You are the paramedic to my horrible freeway pileup. Yours intermittently, but lovingly, Charlie. What? You rascal, you 10 cunning, negative 25 morality, nice guy aura removed. I hope that's like, this is how you're supposed to solve it. I have a letter. All right, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, you're a lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated, and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, the password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Okay, don't do anything stupid. Just stay put. I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works out fine. Don't I worry. The was I Charlie. got this. Well, good luck in your endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz. And thank you. Uh... Yeah, sure. No problem. I did it! Uh, hello there? Password? Fidelio. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Sup, buddy? 
He looks like a pirate. Oh, there's a lot. There are strange, spiky vines all over this crazy place. He's really got a vegetation problem in here. Monkey Island, I can see it. Needless to say, she's not impressed. All right. It's an ancient voodoo chest. I can feel waves of eerie energy emanating from it. To be honest, it's freaking me out a little bit. Right. That skull on top of it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. I heard cats absorb negative energy and transform it into the good kind, but we're not gonna risk her napping on that thing. Fair. Sinister and appropriately illuminated. Well, they look more African than Caribbean to me, but hey. Kitty isn't impressed by primitive art, or any art for that matter. Shut up, I'm a little into German expressionism. How many references do they stuff in this game? What'd I miss again? Hey, isn't that... that's identical to Lemon's Mask. They must be shopping at the same Hi, Swedish Spiegel. furniture shop. Cats do transform any energy into good kind, that's true, all. Kitty isn't impressed by primitive art, or any art. Shut up, I'm a... All right. He oh, either died in the 1700s, uh, or the 80s. The skull stuck to a piece of driftwood. Must have been a sailor, or a mighty pirate. Who knows? Trust me, you don't want that thing. I can smell bad luck and misadventures all over it. All right. Well, that's strange. It looks both human and ichthyoid at the same time. Icty what now? Fish-like. It's given me the why. creeps. It's not a fish. It's just fish-like. Do not want. Right. Hey, look, it's a double-headed doll. Made in San Francisco. Looks plenty fine to me. We all know why that's there, you sycophant. Bad. Yeah, right. I, I skipped him. Bad answer. kitty. That's called a tribute. Yeah, right. All right. Pineapple. It's a pineapple. Psych. Ananas camosis, if you really want to know. Though she enjoys the occasional olive, Kitty's a carnivore. Olive? It's an issue of Vogue magazine. The headline reads, The Fish Mutt Look. Yep. I'm sure I'm not into the fish mutt look. Kitty can't read. Yet. Yet. Ancient cell phone. Boy, that is one ancient device. I guess it somehow goes with the ancient theme he's got going here. Boy. Oops. Kitty has no friends to call. I heard that. Rip. Hey, these are Halloween skulls. But cat skulls can read. are skulls, all right? Sometimes it's hard to get the genuine article. I think I see some traces of glitter. Oh, totally unprofessional. Kitty doesn't care about non-edible decorations. All right, elongated skull. That's an oddly shaped skull. Reminds me of a Mexican guy I once knew. Viva la revolucion! I feel like that's racist. I have a feeling him and cats didn't get along. All right, uh, microwave oven. Looks like a beat up microwave oven. I guess voodoo's somewhat keeping up with the technology. I hate those things. I heard they give you cancer. No joke here. Okay. Looks like a pirate sword. A bit. Shiny. Manny, no. Wait, is that a reference to Manny? That would be way more elongated, wouldn't it? But I guess Mexican? She's not crazy about blades. Bananas. That ish is bananas. I really don't know how B else to describe it. B-A-N-A. B-A-N-A. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> Though she enjoys the... Right. It looks like a ship's wooden hull. I'd wonder about its presence here, but given the rest of the interior decorations, 
This game is a bunch of fun. Goddamn. She doesn't care for anything water related. Alright. That looks like an authentic voodoo throne. Given the lack of other amenities, I really hope it's more comfortable than it looks. I prefer softer surfaces. Fair. Everything about this guy screams voodoo louder than Jimmy would. That is quite the eclectic getup he's sporting. I know I'm supposed to be intimidated, but somehow I feel Schaefer around him. I feel like that's a reference to something? Nah. Alright. Uh, hi there. Greetings, Wanderer, and be welcome. Who are you? Yeah, it was like Tim Schaefer? Oh, worry not. I get my share of amnesiacs. You are now in the presence of the Voodoo Gentleman. So, what do I call you? VG? No, that sounds a little bit too gangsta. Voodoo Gentleman will do. Thanks. Was that password part really necessary? It is best that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right out of town. Thus, the recommendation only access. By the way, who referred you to me? The Grim Fandango wiki says it's Manny's skull and all her references. Oh, okay. It just wasn't exaggerated like it is in the game, so I didn't realize. Aw, Manny. Hence the Mexican guy. Gotcha. I mean, I'll just be accurate. Margo told me about you. Margo. Well, I'm glad to see you're alive and well. Oh, she thinks I'm the husband. The voodoo gentleman? You do voodoo? I'm buzzed, by the way. Hmm. You do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. Uh... I remember, all right. It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat, and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? I used this. Vaulting voodoo fixins is at the... the... The Necronomicon in all its glory. Wanna have a look-see? No, 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 no. Put that away. Th that thing should not be touched. Oh yeah. boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm sure glad I'm not in your shoes. Um, I, I can't help you with your cat, my man. Uh, there are some things even I don't mess with. But my cat. But my cat. Ugh, cats. We never did get along. What are the symptoms, pray tell? She kind of started talking. Oh, look, the cat speaks. Come one, come all, see the freak. She's really unhappy with her current situation. Oh, ye gods, I've had this nightmare before. Maybe a pinch, but there's no cold sweat. How can this be? It's real, Witch MD. Well, crap. Uh, I, I mean, alas. Uh, how could you tell that was the real Nominomicon? How could you tell that was the real Necronomicon, Necronomicon right away? Most everyone imagines it all black, bound in human skin, bearing teeth. Only true initiates know it really kind of looks like one of those British sweater vests. You know, the ones with all the crisscross things. Yeah, why is that? I guess you sometimes just go crazy with the triangles and it just doesn't turn out as evil a design as you'd think. Still... The content more than makes up for it. Pleasant colors, though. Yep, yep, very eye-pleasing. Yep. Oh, my God. Nerds. Oh, and a friend of mine got kidnapped, too. You don't say. Something tells me it's also Necronomicon-related. He was kidnapped while looking for the damn thing. I really wish I could help you out, but... Ugh. Was it a very close friend? We talked for, like... Five minutes. So it was basically someone off the street. Yeah. Aren't we all basically someone off the street? You sure are. <sighs> <sighs> Can't you at least point me in some useful direction? Hmm. There is one person that could probably be convinced to delve into this kind of mess. Yeah? I was just getting into my intriguing plot development swing, and you totally threw me off. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
There's this avid student of the dark arts, an undercover intruder into the Dagon cult, a dear, dear this friend of mine. A man mad oh. and passionate enough to wade through the occult mysteries of the Necronomicon itself. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Did he just go there? Ever had a dream where Talia or Baron speak? No. Never. Or I've had to rescue them. Or I realize they can't come with me to a new place and I freak out. Uh... Or try to figure out how to get them from point A to point B, like, in a car. But that's it. Sorry, I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. Uh, sorry, I, I thought you were going for a for a dramatic pause. But everything I'm saying is dark and morbidly fascinating, right? Oh, absolutely. Just a second ago, I really think I detected some goosebumps. Awesome! I've been working on my wording and delivery. Cute. Uh... Tell me more. Tell me more about this dark intruder dragon guy. Dagon, not Dragon. The terrible god of the murky abysses. The one who seems to have Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades now. Man, where do you get all this stuff? I am a student of the occult stuff, my greenhorn friend. Plus Wikipedia. So this Dagon had Fishmouth in his clawed grip for decades. So this Dagon's had Fishmouth in his clawed grip for decades. He's the mayor, then. Worse than that, if you can imagine. But this is all hearsay, since most people have been just avoiding Fishmouth for years and years. I haven't talked to my friend in ages. Different cell phone carrier? That, and little to no reception. Alright. About this dark student you mentioned. I'm really on the fence here about telling you more. This could be very dangerous. And men in red shirts are notoriously unlucky. Stop reinforcing the stereotype. Is this about money? Money? <laughs> no. I always seem to end up working for free anyways. Uh, please? Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with great difficulty that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure Star you're Trek ready jokes? to hear his worldly denomination Hi, spoken out loud? Hit me. I'm bracing myself. His name is Bob Olmstein. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's our building of supers called. Doesn't have a nephew that plays for the tendrils. I know nothing about it. Anyway. Bob Olmstein. You know, it really rolls off the tongue nicely. It does, but in a shuddering, awe-inducing manner. You really like this guy, don't you? I admire his resolve in the face of occult adversity. He also makes a mean margarita. Fair. Okay. So you're saying I can find Bob Olmstein in Fishmouth? Like well, Steve, yeah. Well, yes, but let it be known, hey, I am not advising you to go there. Doesn't look like I have a choice either way. Can you tell me how I can track him down once I get there? Last time we spoke, he was staying at the Finman house. Gotcha. Just remember, we don't go to Fishmouth. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. She's gone. Is she banging the taxi driver? No. His arm's still there. Questions I had. Now, how do I get there? There we go. Is the little girl still here? Yes. She's still just staring at me. Unsettling. Wait, it wouldn't be this way. So, wait, where? Where do you say I need to go? Because maybe he did. I don't know. Anyway. I can climb higher than that. E Not what I meant. Hey, kitty. How much? Well, you gotta. Don't. Come on. Don't. You mean that? You're a Don't try to. Damn it. Sounds like something fishy is going on at Fishmith. Yeah. God damn it. Mexican restaurant that makes a mango virgin margarita. Ooh. 
fish. Gay fish. Okay. Can the taxi driver take me? Hey, taxi, take me to Finman House in Fishmouth. Yeah, that's real funny. Let's waste the cabbie's time with dumb jokes. No, I'm serious. Take me to Fishmouth. We don't go to Fishmouth. I'll pay double. You can no pay money. four times the fare. It ain't worth going there. You think darkum has been strange lately? Wait till you get a whiff of Fishmouth. So let's get a whiff. Money can't make me go there, friend. Them fishy folks will scare the scales off an anchovy. <gasps> Look, I have this suspicious cookie. Look, I have this suspicious cookie. Keep I had to. that thing away from me. Some darn hippie fed me one of those about a month ago. I was seeing tentacles and all kinds of ungodly things for a week after. You don't say. Can I interest you in an ancient cursed grimoire? Nah, already got one of those. And it's full of my wife's special occasion dresses. I have this stalking cat. We all gotta cross the bed, buddy. Amen, brother. What can I do for a right to Fishmouth? Well, Cthulhu, I that's do thinking, have a family yeah, problem city. needs taken care of, but, uh... Man, it's a heck of a doozy, let me tell you. I'm all ears. Uh, see, this cousin of mine, Ed, married a woman out of Fishmouth. Fishmouth, can you believe it? Name's Azanath. Anyway, ever since they got together, every time I meet old Eddie, I get this strange feeling he's, uh, he's not himself. Always shopping for groceries, never goes to the ball game anymore, general zombie-like complexion, lack of will to go on. Well, that's pretty common from what I understand. No, oh, you unmarried folks wow. always piling on the stereotypes. Yeah. No, friend, I mean, and I know it sounds crazy. It's like she's looking at me through his eyes. Like she's the one inside, right? Kind of creepy. okay. So where's he? Good question, buddy. I mean possession. That's crazy talk, I know, but I've seen it with my own eyes, man. Now, he ain't talking much, but from what he did say, he gets littler and littler time as himself every day. And I'm worried sick, man. What would you Look, do? I don't know what your deal is, but get rid of Azanet for me, and I'll drive you about the fish but like it was nothing. Quest unlocked. Uh, I mean, deal. Okay, then. Who the fuck? What can you tell me about Ed? Name's Edward. Edward Derby. He's my cousin. Supports the tentacles. Don't care much for light beer or garlic-based toppings. Supports Thanks. The That's uh, very is a, insightful. Is he a vampire? With the garlic thing? What can you tell me about Asenath? What's there to say? She's a creepy one, that's for sure. Looking like a darn fish if I ever saw one. I've been driving cabs forever, and I never heard of anyone else called Azanath in Darkham, so there's that. Hope that'll help you. Thanks. Okay, got it. Okay. Got a scoop. Well, I don't know where else I would want to go. Wait, let me look at this. Uh. I don't think I know. Oh, okay, never mind. Thought I'd try. Wait, maybe he he might know some stuff. Let's ask him. Love how self-aware this game is, yeah. Hello. Voodoo gentlemen, I need you to help me help someone out. Oh no. Whose life has the Necronomicon ruined now? No, nothing like that. There is this cabbie outside and his cousin's Hi, body Ellen. is apparently being possessed by his wife, Asenath. It's like he swaps bodies with his wife against his will. Wife swapping? It's That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, help me help his cousin get rid of this Asenath character. Hmm. Well, since I can't help change your cat back, I might as well give you a hand with this possessing business. Actual voodoo freaking magic? My special brand of it, yes. 
we will need to craft a personalized voodoo spell. You're getting a platinum package deal here, buddy. I fear a fetch quest is in order. I have it. You'll need a doll. Well, oh, that goes no. without saying. Then you'll need something that cuts, chops, or severs. And it. finally, someone... How can I put this? Attractive. We're not talking chopping attractive people's limbs off here, right? Oh, no, I have one motto. Do no physical harm. I need the doll. Oh, oh, and uh, one more thing. You need to look up the order we will use them in. Okay. Found these scissors. Good eye. Oh, okay. Found this picture of a male model. A strapping young man. It'll do. Found this book called A Very Convenient Treatise on the Order of Voodoo Magic Ingredients Should Be Used In. Think it might help? It might. Have you read it yet? Not yet. I'll get back to you. All right. Uh, I mean, I have them all. You have some Except dolls around. Doll. Can we use one of them? Which That's my private right collection, Buzz. No touchy. But I don't know where to get a doll at this hour. Oh, it's easier than you think. Like taking candy from a baby. You have some dolls around. It's, That's my... But I... Oh, like... Can't you get the items yourself? No, it is very important that I sit here and do nothing. It's in the terms of service. Want to read them? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, I think I'll just agree. Yeah, I thought so. T what do you mean, no physical harm? I only so deal can I be pro from 35 voodoo. minutes ago? I can now turn Sounds my head like to the right further without pain. Oh, don't, oh, don't all the hugs. you'll be a believer by the time we're I'm glad done. you feel better, though. Gotta run. Gotta run. I'll be here, Buzz. Two us. All right, first I'm gonna go get the doll. We're making progress. Progress. Finally. All right. There we go. All right. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry, but okay, we're quid pro quo -ing. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Miss Know-It-All. I think we need to have a talk about you helping out whenever I consider it necessary. Geez, fine. You were right this time, okay? Sheesh. So from now on, you'll help out when I tell you to? Ask me to. And that's a maybe. Let's say I'll be more inclined to. <sighs> I'll take it. I'm doing good, Owen. How are you doing? Progress hype. Yes. Ma'am, I have, I have your doll. All right, Priscilla. Here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. <laughs> Deal, creep. This town, man. This freaking town. It's got legs. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. Okay, according to this treatise, I think the order we should use the items is someone attractive, doll, thing that cuts. All right. Let's go. Doesn't know how to use them. Well, the book does. All right, um, I got it. Why does the fish have legs? Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? All right, what do you want to call it? Uh, I guess we should call Asenath if we're trying to find him. Asenath. Asenath it is. So is that all of them? So, that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? Attractive, uh, picture, doll, scissors. Picture, doll, scissors. All right, here we go. Jambalaya! Uh, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. 
I told you. Oh. I deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it, it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. The fuck? Did some good, I guess. Plus 25 karma, 15 dubious morality. I got observant ocul occultist as an achievement. So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, not Yay, everything, vacuum. but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kitty legs. back now. Why does the fish have legs? You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. All right, there's the music crescendo. Fairy godmother. I think it's supposed to be the angel and the devil because we got a devil one too before. So also I have not saved. It's been auto-saving, I think, but... Supposedly we did good, and we'll see. Heard from Ed lately? You, you're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 you're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with yeah, Ed. Yeah, F5. As an Eric left him for a male model. My God, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, want to go to Fishmut? Want? No. But I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kitty? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. Ah, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Let's go! Chapter two, the temple. Might this be a good place to stop actually then? After whatever cutscene happens. Who is this? Oh, the detective. I would say so. Can no one but him hear Kitty speak? No, I think the voodoo uh, dude heard him. Where am I? What happened? All right, we did it. Also, it saved, but I'm gonna save again. There we go. Yo, prologue and chapter one done. Heck yes. Nailed it. So thank you, Kath. Thank you, thank you, thank you for picking this game. It is very uh, entertaining point and click. I like the animations a lot. They did a very good job of uh, animating very unique things too. Because they have very smooth, fluid movements. And I enjoy it. Puntastic. Heck yes. But yeah. Oh, they have another save thing. Oh. Oh, quick saves versus auto saves. Uh. Okay. Is that, does that say quick save then? Or is it save save? Save game. Okay, got it. Done. Uh, thank you so much, Kath, for the lovely Patreon pick and for being a lovely Patreon bean. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very intriguing. I like all the Cthulhu references, even if uh, some of the other references go over my head. It's fine. Totally fine. So, yeah. Thank you guys. I like the eye following the cursor too. Yeah, the cat does. I'm liking this. It was fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad. We're going to go raid someone. Don't know who yet. I'm looking. But if you guys need something to say, copy and paste uh, this to one, make sure it works, and two, to let us know you're coming with. So, what are you going to be for Halloween? On Saturday, I'm dressing up as the Resident Evil 8 daughter for a Mario Party stream. Mario Party Superstars. So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be all the fun. I'm excited. But we're gonna go give some love to Kuri, who is currently playing Animal Crossing. Uh, chill, cause I'm feeling a little under the weather. So let's give her all the love. Poor Bean, she's wearing a mask in Animal Crossing. Seems appropriate. Let's go give her some love. Yeah, it came! It came yesterday or last night, so I'm excited. And we'll be being Resident Evil 8 daughter on Saturday. It's going to totally match the mood. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so.
So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Fatal Frame 5, which comes out tomorrow. Um, I'll be playing it for the first time on the Switch. I'll be playing that tomorrow and Saturday, or sorry, tomorrow and Friday at noon Central Standard Time. Friday evening and Saturday during the day tomorrow. Friday evening is on Kita's channel. Saturday is on my channel. We're going to be playing Mario Party Superstars, which is the new Mario Party coming out Friday with all the old maps. So thank you guys so much for being here while I played through the letter and Gibbous. They're very both entertaining. We made all the progress. And thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys over in Kuru's chat. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Fatal Frame. Oh, no problem, Kotana. Take care of yourself. But yeah. With how bloodthirsty Mario Party can be, it'll be <laughs> agripo. Yeah, exactly. So, have a good night, you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.